Taiwan, how'd you feel about the outing overall? Um, it was okay. You know, I um, frustrated myself. I had two um, two innings where I didn't get shut down innings. Um, you know, often scored the runs, especially off a, off a really good pitcher in Sandy. And um, you know, they kept picking me up, and you know, that was a big, huge inning uh, from Francisco, getting driving those three runs in, and end up getting that shutdown inning. I think just kind of kind of turned the game around right there. You're talking about not getting those shutdown innings. A lot of soft contact and, and balls kind of sneaking through. Does that you know, is that something that that I guess makes you less frustrated by it, or is it a more frustrating inning? Probably more frustrating, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I just saw these guys five days ago, um, so I didn't get the swings and misses I wanted. Um, but I feel like my stuff was still pretty good. But, yeah, I mean, the soft contact, obviously I'll take it. But, you know, I think they had like three or four infield choppers that were for hits. So, uh, But, I mean, if we keep them to singles, uh, good things should happen. So. Knowing that you just saw them five days ago, did that help with your ability to kind of change up your plan in game? Um, yeah, so that was we went in with the same game plan um, and trying to figure out what they were doing this time around. Um, and for the most part, we just kept it the same. Um, through I, I don't know, I think it might have been less sliders today, but more splitters. And um, you know, they were just putting the ball on the ground for the most part. So you threw over five times and then got birdie. Yes. If you didn't get him there, how many times would you have thrown over? So I got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. I mean, he stole two off me last time, and um, you know, was, I was pretty close. I think to pick him off uh, the last game, but. Um, he's going to run. I think he leaves the league in stolen bases, so it's someone i got to pay attention to. And um, I feel like if we get a pickoff early, uh, it kind of shuts down their whole running game the rest of the day. And, you know, Jazz is a runner, too. And, you know, it seemed like his, his league got a lot shorter and didn't really try to, to, to steal on me after I picked off Birdie. Most of your strikeouts came in the second half of your outing. What do you kind of see as the difference there, kind of, in the back half? Uh, I feel like I just kind of got stronger as the game went on. I feel like my, my velocity ticked up a little bit more. Um, just a little more intensity, and like I said, I really wanted to get that shutdown inning after. I think it was the fourth inning we scored, I don't remember, but you know, I really wanted to get that shutdown inning and you know, try to go a little, uh, a little deeper in the game. You mentioned facing a guy like Alcantara. I know a lot of times pitchers try not to think about the guy on the other side of the mound, but with someone having the type of season he's having, is that in the back of your mind? And when your guys are able to, to get a couple off him, does it kind of change the way that you view the outing? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say he's probably the best pitcher right now in the game, and, um, you know, going toe-to-toe with him, um, I just have to be a little bit better, you know, try to go longer innings than him, um, but, you know, just try to give up less runs as well, and, um, you know, our guys did really good today, um, the offense was, was stellar, and, you know, people always ask me, what's Buck like? Buck like, and, you know, he just knows everything, so that play that happened with Nemo and Marte, you know, he's, he's just on top of his game with that, so that helped out a lot, too.